like doing it to just keep it clean. Two preset no unit. All right. So what's going to happen here when it comes in here? It's going to check if you have a unit selected. If you have a unit selected, it's going to remove the marine range indicator from it because only marines that have been selected will be stored in here. Because down here, we check if what we have selected is a marine. If we have selected a marine, we add the range indicator and then we set the selected unit to this new marine for the triggering player. If you haven't selected a marine, we will just set it to nothing, that we have no units selected because we don't care about other units. And the reason we do this in reverse is because we have to set this to the selected unit. And um, yeah, that way we first remove it here. If we had done it the other way, then it would have been removed instantly. So we have to do this after we actually remove it. And this is all setup that's needed. So now I'm going to show you the map and then I'm going to show you something fun I did with Bifus map later the other tutorials from YouTube. So let's go into the game. So here we are. Uh, you will see that the Salat has no weapon since we didn't add it. However, the Marines have. It's currently maximum one Marine at a time, but you could easily extend it to be multiple selections. Next up, I'm going to show you another way to use the same principle to make spell effects for your buffs or for your spells or whatever, which is a really neat way. So let's change map here. So here we are in a map I've created with a speed buff. I based this map on Bifus tutorial, so check that out if you want to create it. And as you can see, when I run up to other units, it ga gains this guardian shield-like thing, just that it's a lot smaller. And it's done with the same principle. Uh, of using create it when the behavior is added to the unit and removing it when the behavior goes away. There's currently a bug that will disappear if the unit stays in the behavior for a while. This is due to the fact that the guardian shield is set up with kind of a duration for its animation, but this could be fixed. Um, yeah, it's really cool and you can do that with uh, any effect you want and for any spell you want or addition. So let's go into the editor and take a quick look on how I did this. So here we are in the editor, and I'm not going to show you how to create this actual speed buff because it's already a tutorial on how to do that, but I will show you what I added. I created a new actor here, and uh, it is of this uh, type here, model animation style continuous. This is basically just a copy of the guardian shield. I just made a new actor and duplicate the guardian shield actor, which you can find we type guard here. Um, this guardian shield here, there's also an impact, impact that you could duplicate and use for your own. Then you get this animation that comes uh, when they act, enter the zone or exit the zone. It just happens once and then it goes away. So, but just look at ex ex existing spells if you want to know how to do something. So I created this actor here and then I went and to duplicated the Guardian Shield model because I want to change the size. And to change the size, I tweaked this radius setting and I actually had to tweak it up to make it smaller for some weird, weird reason. Anyway, I tweaked it up to three, which seemed to fit fine. Then got a tiny Guardian Shield bubble over my unit. And then I went back to this actor and in the events, I simply did a create on my speed buff and a destroy on my speed buff. I l left this uh, command that it's using for the guardian shield. I haven't really looked into exactly what it does, but it's working for now. And that's all I did really to create a effect on a buff game. So play around with it, try some different models, try some of these different uh, types that you have here. Uh, you have lots of different model type, one shot models of a single shot effect and so on. And you can create some quite nifty effects when you gain or lose your buffs and so on. Just play with it. So that's it for this time and hopefully I will get around to doing a trigger tutorial next. I have one on my list that I have been waiting to do. I want to do a complete user interface tutorial. 
I think many people will find that useful, but um, I still have to prepare some things for that tutorial. Alright, so that's it for this time. Make sure to check out the channel linked in my comment. Uh, there's also all the maps that I created will be there, except for the you get my initial map because my editor crashed between these recordings, so the actual map that I created during this tutorial uh, got lost, but I have another copy that does exactly the same thing. Alright, so that's it for this time.